The Chinese room is one of the most persistent thought experiments in the philosophy of artificial intelligence, and it goes back to the 1980s with John Searle. It goes like this. Imagine that there is a man in a room who does not speak Chinese. Now, on the table in front of him is a book which contains if-then translation notes. So if you get this incomprehensible Chinese symbol, then the book will tell you what symbol to give back in reply. Now imagine that somebody posts into this room a letter containing only Chinese symbols. The man with his book follows his instructions and he posts a letter back out and it's perfectly understandable and perfectly correct Chinese. And the question that John Searle asks is, does the person in the room understand Chinese or is he only mimicking? And the deeper philosophical question is, what is the difference between mimicry and understanding? Of course, John Searle was talking about computers, and in his day, most computers worked on an if-then algorithm. But these days, artificial intelligence is a little bit different. Today, large language models will constantly be changing. They are growing and adapting. They involve neural networks. But does this make a difference to John Searle's point? Can a computer ever understand, or will it be forever locked in an algorithmic box? And are humans that much different?